Cause I be bustin' a dope move But the problems stay the same How you riding for the cash when you ain't riding in my lane Shorty all about a paper so your mix should look the same In the game I play the lane like Eddie Kane Cause I be bustin' a dope move more is a culture it's not a race of people it does not signify a race of individuals there was some, i ain't got nothing to do with no race but 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 but, just, but you have a race and you're trying to say that your race is the same as the people from the moorish culture the same as the people from the hebrew israelite religion and the same as the native americans that's what you're claiming I'm saying I can't be classified, but Paco, you can't can, be classified. You classify, Paco, you can classify you can me classify anything you want. And what I'm saying is this: you have you you explained to me you have a white ancestry too. So that means you got Europeans in your blood. Yeah, uh, my grandma Catherine came over here and got with an Indian I'm boy. I'm not saying yeah. a lot of them. I'm not saying she came from England. You know. Okay, so you have European in your blood. You have Native American in your blood. Even if you call it more. Even if you call it Hebrew Israelite, even if you call it well, not Native, well, it could be Native American too. But my point is, the black people you come from, and your skin is still black today. You're not of mixed race. You're not as light skinned as my baby mom, or Harry P. Newton, which is exactly. my cousin. That's so, and you told me mostly who, white. You told me, and exactly, you told me he was white. You said he was white. He was Native American, and he was black, right? And he had a fro, yeah. And that's my point. But him having an afro. Could have been a hairstyle. Could he have cut his hair low if he chose to? If you probably put some chemicals in there, but yeah. No, I'm talking about could he have took in a pair of clippers and cut it low? If he cut, did Bobby Seale have one? Did 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 uh did uh did uh Stokely Carmichael have? Did everybody in the black movement have one? So all those people, because they had afros, afros, they come from ancient. I'm people. saying Hillary P. Newton was more Native American and white. But how do people. you know that? Because that's my cousin. Okay. And that's, that's the same cousin. thing I am. How many of his grandparents and great grandparents do you know of? Our main one, which is uh <laughs> Let me stop his right great grandma. Let me, let me is stop white. you right there. His main one ain't your main one. His grandma, unless he's your friend. They all light skinned though, they are. No, 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 but that's not the point. That's not the point of this of their skin complexion. The uh, point is that you and your sister have the same grandma. You and your uncle do not. So yeah. his grandmother is not your grandmother. There is a difference. A, so if who is Huey P. Newton and your cousin as far as your grandmom's child's child? Or is he your uh, cousin as far as he's my grandmom's, his grandmom and my grandmom are cousins, which would be like second or third cousins? No, that's closer than that. That's what um, I'm saying. It, 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 his, his, his grandmom and your, and his, and your grandmom's sisters? Yeah, uh, or any cousin. I'm trying to figure it out. All uh, right, his grandma and my grandma and sisters. No, his mom and my grandma and sisters. Okay, his mom. Mm -hmm. So he would be your uncle's age. If, if he, oh, I got you, I got you, I got you. Okay, so that would make him your second cousin. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Right. So that's my point. So your mom, I mean his mom and your grandma and sisters. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so now we got to know who they dad's was. We got to know who his dad was. Yeah, I don't know his dad. And we got to know who they dad's was because all that affects yeah. the gene pool. All that yeah. affects y'all gene pool. That's what yeah, I'm he's saying. black. His dad got to be black for sure, yeah. And I'm with you on that. So you're saying his mom come from white and Native American stock. Mm -hmm. His dad come from a black man. Yes, sir. Exactly. So now... It's probably safe to say, all right, so let's flip it. I ain't even going to use this for me, but I'm going to use this against what you believe. If if we was going off the Hebrew Israelite doctrine, he would be a black man because you only believe yeah. the father is. He is a he, black man. He wouldn't yeah. be Native American then. He wouldn't be white neither, according to the yeah. Hebrew Israelite doctrine. That's why I say yeah, that shit sure. is bullshit. That shit is, boy, you're, you're part of what your mom is and you're part of what your dad is. Yeah, for sure. That's yeah. how it works. And anybody, religion or group of people who say different, you ask, you fucking crazy. You crazy. It's, it's dudes that look uh, just like their mom. And then the Native American culture go by the women anyway, so it's a conflict of interest either way you put it. I feel you. So you saying like the Native, okay, oh, so you saying the uh, matriarchal. Yeah, the Native, American. Native American culture, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that.
And I think it's kind of the patriarchy too on a low, but you said different like, stories like for different other times. Different, do different shit. Yeah, yeah but I always think like a woman sacrifice, is actually, even yeah. Judaism. They used to kill babies, dog. I think they still do. Yeah, I'm not against. I'm with you on that too. Even if they ain't killing them, they diddling them. The, 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 taking their blood, all types of weirdo. Exactly, bathing in the child's blood. Mm -hmm. That's my point. I'm sure the Canaanites don't want to be wrapped up. I don't, I'm sure they don't want their name said with that bullshit. I'm sure they don't. <laughs> I'm positive I, they don't. I mean, I get the doctor. It's like a I rebel against the matriarchy. Do. You know, it's a rebel against the matriarchy, pretty much. Exactly, but remember, the people who we call in Israelites is invaders. Yeah. Now, Judaism, you're right, it does start at the same place we call Canaan. That's the group of Israelites who created Judaism. You're right about that. And I said they were Moors, yeah. I'm not disagreeing with you that some of them was Moors. It was a Moor state before Israelites ever came in there. That's why I said when you say the name Phoenician, Paco, that's a Moorish culture. Yes, they yeah. had yeah, they had their own religion. Yeah, they had their For own sure. they had their own writing and all that. They taught Greeks and they shit, right? But they yeah, was that's taught basically what they made. Dude. But that's they culture, but yeah. they was taught in Arabic. That shows you Arabic predates they shit. Proto Arabic not that old though. Not not not, not today's old. Arabic, but what you call Proto Indo Arabic. By the time they was being called the Moors, yeah, they they, they that was their main language. Well, when you, yeah. Right, but when you talk about Proto Arabic, like the, the language that they used to speak before they had the all classical Moors, that's their language. And that's right. their uh, science. Right. Yeah. Now the Moors who went into Europe spoke Phoenician. Yeah. And that's what they taught the white people, and that's where the white people stole their alphabet, right? I don't think they were teaching them the Islamic stuff. But, yeah. I mean, religiously, I agree. But by then, Phoenicians had their own language. They had Phoenician. And that's where the Greek alphabet come from. From the Phoenician I mean, all alphabet. the languages come from Phoenicia, so I don't really know no, what they're they speaking. Don't. But. No, the Egyptian language, Egyptian hieroglyphics in the Sumerian caniform, if my memory serves me correct, they predate Phoenician. I know, I, I'm telling you this. For a fact, they wouldn't like, like, like when people say, I heard you say it before, Hinduism is the first religion, right? Was that um, you? Did you say Hinduism? Yeah, 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 that's nice. That's All right, nice. right. You ain't the only person who's going to say that. You're not the only person, but what I see is the religions like Hinduism. If you're asking me the honest truth, it comes from the Yoruba people. They just pick and chose the gods that they I'm want. with you on that. They pick, yeah, I'm with they you on pick that. and chose, just like the Egyptians. And the Sumerians, they did the same thing. They pick and chose which Yoruba gods they wanted to put in their shit, and they renamed them, just like the white yeah. folks did. The white folks changed the nigga image. They changed his name. I think Yoruba my, my, my people, so yeah. But that's, we, I'm with you, but, but again, that's West Africa. It is. Right. So the people, that shit that's going on, we can't be the Moors in North Africa. Oh, we could have stopped by there. We could have stopped by there, bro. No, I'm we could have stopped by there. But what I'm saying is, if you we were already there, like I said, now your Congo, that's the area. But you know, yeah, but we wasn't but all there. That yet. Some black people were there. Some black people were in other parts of Africa. So when you start talking about the French bringing slaves over here, right? The French had certain territory occupied. When you talk about the British, they had different territory occupied. Everybody in Af from Europe <laughs> didn't get their slaves from the same place, Paco. They got them from different parts of Africa. All slaves don't come from the same part of Africa. That's what I'm saying. None of that shit them religious people say makes sense. It yeah, I, I don't know how to say that. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. How can it make sense? I, the Israel African slave say, Africans and that's true. Hindu people. I don't. That's true. Saudis or and Arab. slave made Slavic, and none of them came from up north. But yeah, I, people from up north did get up enslaved too, Pop. Yes, they sure. did. That's what I'm saying. It's all over. It's just different people. Like, where did the Arabs get their slaves from? From from everywhere, from fucking Canaan and Saudi Arabia. I mean, slave is just like a working man. It's, it's not a working that, man because you, you don't get paid. You don't get paid. You have to work for free to live. That's yeah, slavery. But that's still, yeah, it is, but that's still uh, working. That's still but working. It's, but it's not, the, it's not the right way. 
if you gonna have somebody work for you, you commission them. How about this? Y'all didn't enjoy- without all the violence and and, and the, the nonsense. It is this. Remember that movie, The Scorpion King, with the mm-hmm. rock. They ain't enslaved mm-hmm. no motherfucking Acadians. They hired them. The assassins or whatever their names is. Yeah, and them people first are gonna become slaves, yeah. Yeah, they 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 they, they will go on to become slaves. And I'm talking about when motherfuckers was commissioning them instead of enslaving them because they were still strong at the time. The Assyrians and all that shit. They were strong then. Acadians. They were strong then. So people wasn't just running in Acadia and snatching slaves. Motherfucking the Moors fell because we got comfortable like they did today. And the Moors, and the Moors fell because they army. taught Europeans their techniques. Yeah, and they were sending them the army. They what did Rome the take army? over? Yeah. Didn't, didn't Alexander the Great take over uh, Carthage, where Hannibal was from? They took out the Moors with the other barbaric white boys. And that's what I'm saying. Hannibal yeah. from Carthage. Ain't that where Alexander the Great took over? Uh, Carthage. Yeah, the Carthaginians. That's that's what you was telling. You was trying to say the other day. You ain't. You might. You said Phoenicians, Israelites, yeah. and Moors is all the same people. I understand why you say that because they yeah. all come from Moors states, like Morocco, all the way to fucking Israel. You gonna have Moors all throughout that, but everybody there is not a Moor. Everybody shit yeah, below that. Timbuktu, Egypt was with the Moors. No, uh, Egypt was not the Moors. Egypt is before the Moors. The Moors. Egypt, uh, no, I Egypt is I, Egypt is the no, shit no, that no, you no. Be talking about. Kush. The real Egypt, black Egypt, is Kush. The Moors don't even say there was there was no Moors. They just say I mean the people there. They right, just say because some of them the last one there. Because some of them they just saying they're the last one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. What Europeans and and fucking North Africans invaded Egypt. Facts. Mm-hmm. Facts. And they was going back and forth. Right. That's why I There's said Nubia dangerous. and Egypt was at war, what, three, four thousand Ethiopia, years ago. Right? Ethiopia as well. Ethiopian. Some was uh the Sudan. Sudanians. Right. Sudanese. Yeah. Right. Correct. Okay. And that's what I've explained it to you. The real p I'm trying to tell you right now, I'm gonna drop this on you one time, whether you heard it or not before. Right. Pot, the Nubians. Nubia. They mm-hmm. are the fucking kings. They yeah, built for sure. That's up. what I've been telling you. But that's what I'm explaining. Noob, th- th- that's not saying all all black people in America is them. That's though. Push, bro. Paco, that's but push that's right not here. right. But that's not saying that all black people in America is them. You can't make a statement like that. I think we I think we're definitely part of the empire, but no, I do believe we some of us are there. Ain't that kind of greedy just for us to be? Uh, that's kind of greedy. Have you listened us. to the tapes from the last couple of days? You saying black people in America is neither Congo speaking people. What is that saying? If you're going to have an empire, you're going to have everybody there first and, first and foremost. But that's not true. Because while those empires was going on, other empires... All the big empires, every last one. But, every last all, one. Every, but if every big empire had united... Was, Africa, a, was mixed. If, no, it wasn't. It did not start out like every that. Every last one. That, they did not start out like that. They nah, did they not start, start like out that. like that. None of them started everything like from no, fucking, most of them everything from West Africa all the way over to Nubia into Egypt. That was all black at one time. But that if you're was, from what? If you're from across the river, y'all ain't even the same kids. So according to y'all, right? Even though y'all ancestors might have came from the same people as some North Africans do, or some probably came from West East. Who knows? You That's know what I'm true. Saying? We but y'all can still be the same people. You know what I'm saying? Y'all could be. But this is especially the if y'all have an empire. This is the especially difference. if you have an empire. This is the difference. If me, if you and Yusuke, just use him as an example, is both from Nubia, hypothetically speaking, and you go to America, and Yusuke go to motherfucking Japan, and you mix with people and make a lineage that starts the day you get there, and Yusuke go to Japan and make a lineage that starts the day he get there, y'all lineages will be different because y'all mix with different people. Yeah, that's the difference in Africans. That's the difference in Asians. That's the difference in Europeans. The Germans did not mix with the same groups of people that the motherfucking Romans did. Not at least never do. But I'm not even talking about I'm not even talking about caste system or social structure. I'm talking about the nation. The people who inhabit Germany today, those white people have a different story than the white people in Rome. 
because they did not deal with the same white people as the white people in Rome. The people in Italy have a different story than the people in fucking Russia. Because yeah. they, it, that's my point. So the people in Ethiopia have a different story than the people in the Sudan. The people in the Sudan have a different story than the people in Morocco and so on and so forth. Because of who they dealt with, who they mixed and mingled with, where they went and started to inhabit places and might have got kicked back home and brought that gene pool back to their house. It happens a million different ways. Because we move. It happened, it happened when they go to a club. Yeah. Exactly. So, me and you take a trip to Miami. Me and you meet yeah. some girls. We sleep with these girls. Either the chick you slept with or the chick I slept with got uh, pregnant. We ain't never know about it. Some other nigga raising that baby. But that baby grow up and go ha going to have 13 kids in Miami. And his 13 yeah. kids going to have 40 <clears throat> kids. That's how you assimilate gene pool, Paco. And that's why nobody pure. I I'm agreeing with you. The only possible pure is a motherfucker on an island. And I already said they might not or, be pure. They might not or be pure. Or have a region of Africa. That's what I'm nothing. saying. Like the people yeah. of Madagascar. But we don't know who the people of Madagascar dealt with before they got there. So we don't know how pure blood anything they are. They could be Khoisan people who just left and went there. They could be only from Morocco. We don't know. What, yeah. we, what we do know is that they African. They got African genetics. They're more African than anything else they might be. We know the same thing about Australians. They're more, yeah, they're the landmass. Nah, you can't be a landmass. I know you can, but That's the people who but the people who inhabit the landmass, you can call you can name the the landmass off those people. Eventually, everybody gonna be the color of my high end star. But that's you not agree necessarily with that? true because Africa will never ever be a hundred percent tan. It will never be a hundred. You're not black thinking. Black. That's I what I say. You on those signs. You're not thinking. You don't think because every, all these people that are tan and written and, and light skinned today necessarily might never make it to Africa. There's no guarantee that they're ever going to take their people and just go to Africa. There's Chinese people there right now that's going to put their Chinese gene pool in that modern day Africa. It's already there. Yeah. Exactly. So my point is this. How can we just... So it's going to spread throughout the continent. Yeah. Not necessarily. It depends on how many Asians come over there and who they mix with. That's like saying that if Asians... How long have Asians been here in America? Is they, is they genetics all in, inside everywhere in America? No. Nah. Exactly. So we ha it depends on how it works. Just like Africans is in China right now. You, ain't, you can't say that the whole Chinese race is going to be black in 100 years. But I mean, like, so uh, the mix is going to spread, you know what I'm saying? So It is going to spread, but it's going to spread to a degree, a degree based off of how many people mixed. So if I have a billion Chinese people and I only bring three and mil people more attracted to light skinned people, unfortunately. But that's your opinion. It is an opinion of mine. Yeah, that's, I, I, that, that's that's a that's an opinion. Some people like white women. Some people like dark skinned women. I like the dark skin, but that's I'm just saying. I mean, I don't I don't I don't really discriminate. I don't either. But, but that's not my point. My point is that's just what it is. <laughs> like, I'm with like, you. In a place honestly. like America, we a melting pot. And we've been melting together longer. And we're supposed to be people. gold, yeah. But we ain't. We still no, got we're not. black people. We still got lily white and people. White. Exactly. Yeah. So it ain't going to work like that. History has shown it's us not. that it's, it's just not going to go like that. Not as fast. No. Nah. Exactly. And Africa is over a billion black people. You can't. You can't top that. You you can't bring a million white people in and overcome a good South Africa. But that's the last stronghold, you feel me? It's the, it's the only one we got left. That's the only one we got left. I agree with you. And that's my point. So when people say I'm not African, I'm Hebrew Israel, like I'll tell them, well, that's a religion. I'm not African. I'll just be saying history because, like I said, honestly, I'm moving Africa right now just to get out of this motherfucker. Me too. <laughs> but, me too. But, I would love to. My point is that is that at the end of the day, when I call you a watered down African, it's not a shot at you. It's just saying what's in your genetics. You was African. I respect history, so I'm gonna fight. But you you was African, and then like you said, you got some Native American in you. You got some European in you. You got some South American, Native American in you. 
all those things is cool to have in you. I understand. That's probably why you got certain light skinned people in your family. But other light skinned yeah. people in your family come from slavery. Come from the white yeah, I, I, like I said, I can't trace down all of them. Like my story had from your uh what is it? Lewis or something like that. My grandma my grandma last name Brown. My grandpa last name Russell. I know, but you still are kind of a Lewis. My grandpa I, from South Carolina, my grandma from North Carolina. Yeah, y'all still got Lewis and y'all though, like Reese. Y'all yeah, that, his grandma and my grandma is cousins. Mm-hmm. That's a baby they Lewis's. Exactly. I'm a Lewis. And, that, and that's my point. When you look at you just can't get caught up in the bullshit pocket. That's the moral of the story. The moral of the story is to if you want to learn about the fact that no religion is real because you are not God didn't create you in his image and there's a, a, a path of evolution for you. You can learn that that information is out there. There is no connection to all black people from Hebrews. There is no connection to all black people through Moors. There is no collection connection to all black people through any religion. That's all bullshit. That's shit that believers spew. And if you're not a believer, you shouldn't think like that. Don't use fucking Hebrew shit as fucking historical fact. I don't do that. It's a I, they never found nothing in the Bible nowhere. So exactly. So what they I'm did good, was man. use the names of people who existed and put them in a book. And the closest is all over the west coast of America. So, but the I'm closest good. is everywhere because they took stories from everywhere. Yeah, but that Bible. It's, I think it's mostly over there on the West Coast, West Coast baby. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know where half that shit took place. I know that shit like Jerusalem. I don't, but I know Jerusalem the story Israel. that when they talk about Jerusalem, they talking about Israel. Really, nah, they ain't talking about nowhere near there. Yes, they are, Paco, because that's where Judaism come from. Judaism. I can't believe you won't just look up Virginia and see how it's been there way before anything you talk about. But it ain't. And that's only a hundred years ago. <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Like, no matter what, 140 years ago, it was called Jerusalem. And there was no such thing as Jerusalem over there yet. Man, like, it's, like, come on. Come on yes, with the common sense. I can send come on with some common sense, I can, sense, I can send you a map right now of it called Jerusalem a thousand years ago. Man, just go look up Virginia, man, and then I'm and not be your own map. I'm that some people in Virginia came over here and called something Jerusalem. I'm not disputing that some people from Haiti came over here and called something Little Haiti. I'm not disputing that the people in Africa who claim to be part of that last slave ship, quote, Tilda or whatever, the town in which they go to churches and all that shit is called Little Africa. I'm not disputing that there was a Little Kush. I'm not disputing that there was a Little Mecca. I'm not disputing none of those things. What I'm explaining to you is where they got those things from, who they got those things from, why they felt the need to come over here and call places that they inhabit places that were, are where they used to be from. That's what I'm explaining to you. I'm not saying that in Virginia they didn't call it Jerusalem. You might be right. My point is... And some think Jerusalem is Peru, Jerusalem. A lot of people think that as well. What I'm saying is that's all off of this dialect that Americans have always been here. That's where things like that come from. Things that go against what the sciences tell you or what the archaeology tells you, those are things that are, are also semi-new of people, just like when people say, look, here go to prove And I'm just saying I, w- I would like to reintroduce myself. Our name is Hove. We've been here, my nigga. We've been here, bro. We've been here. You? Let me try to talk about me. Your dark skin neighbor, your mom. So all these people been here. My mom. These people was brought here. They were at the store. They wasn't That's enslaved. Black. None, of these, Afro. none of these people were enslaved in Africa and brought from Africa and Europe to America to work. Unless they came back, pretty much no. Came back from America. Came back if they were enslaved in Africa and they came back. Okay. So, but other so, than that, so, no. So the people who was enslaved in Africa was in America before they got enslaved in Africa. I don't know nothing about this slavery stuff. Like, so, so I understand that people were here getting abused and and working. So, so no slaves. So I do no understand slaves, that. So no slaves were ever brought. Those here. people, those people were called. They weren't Slavics unless they were white. But Slavic. I don't know. But but where a word comes from does not signify how everybody uses it. No, just the English language of it. So what I'm saying to you again, I'm asking, 
no black people was enslaved in Africa and brought to Europe and America. I'm sure it was, but it's divided by your numbers. I, I, I just don't, nah, I don't agree with you by your numbers. But what I'm saying to you is this, if it was so many, we already had the discussion about People all get that. abused all over the world. I'm not I do know that. that. So what was the difference in the Native Americans that were killed off and, and, and taken to war and the black people who was just working? They in the hood right now. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, what was the difference, it, the the difference between them? Why didn't they make all the Native Americans slave? Why was they killing them? I mean, everybody wasn't a slave over here, neither. But, uh, I'm I'll just saying, you. though, so how did white people accrue their wealth? How did they do what? How did they get rich? They formed. They, they took over stuff. They so took they over formed, government. So they formed all they this give, stuff. They was given land. They was given land. They, if you're a farmer, you need somebody to pick your crops, for sure. Okay, and the people who picked these crops were Native Americans who were already here? No, not that I, not, I man. I wish I seen that. I don't know. So who they were these saying people, they were? So I don't know nothing that about that. These crops, huh? Who were these people that picked these crops? Of course, it was the natives that was here already, and you just some, said you some, don't know some, nothing about that. I'm talking about the actual natives that lived on the land. I'm not talking about no Native Americans like you are or nothing. I'm saying that lived on what land? You would take the people on the land. Lived on what land? You shoot one nigga and tell the rest to get to work. Live in America, bro. Okay, so the natives that lived in America, or Native mm -hmm. Americans, right? No, not in my opinion. I think it was some so, area. So they and were I, native they, to America. Whenever I looked them up, they working with the white dude. So I, I don't. So, 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 so Native that, Americans so. ain't never take them to war. They probably did. Some they of the probably did. Them I'm what about the ones in South America who was scalping the Spanish? I'm well, if you refer to the black people that were the uh, Indians, then yeah, they took, we took them to war. The Yamasi so, war is so one of the other biggest people, wars so in the world, other, South Carolina, so where, where we from. Where do people come from? We fight. Where do uh, other people come from then? Up north. Up, up on the coming so from let, Britain. So let me get this right. Many people, hold on. Let me tell you. Many people think they're from Ellis Island and they're actually a made race, which I agree with. And so they're a the made race? Yes. And they were all made on Ellis Island. No, not all of them. Some actually probably was up north, and they, they came from a different direction. So why why so, do, so why do they have the same? Uh, I'm not talking about nobody from South America or Mexico. I'm talking about just the ones in North America, Canada. Well, what about the ones in South America? They went at it with Europeans too. No, that's something completely different. Which one I know about them? Who are who are those people? Oh, them people mixed with uh, Chinese, Mongoloid, and Black. So they mix with Chinese, Mongoloid, and Black. When did they do that? Throughout history. I mean, throughout um, history, where at? In South America. So in South America. In the islands, uh, all the islands around there, yeah. So none of them black people is from Africa. I mean, they would have had to come from the West Indies side when uh, all that slavery and taking over was uh, happening. But African people were over here on boats. They just was like navigators and stuff. And actually, with some slaves, a couple not, of slaves. Uh, but why would you only bring a couple? If you if you could bring a few, why not bring as many as you can? Because that's a waste of food, nigga. That's why. How is that a waste of food if you plan on planting crops and farming? If you, you get don't free take labor, somebody fucking Marco, if you thousands get of miles, labor, dog. Why don't you? If you gonna make them work for free, do you want to do that work yourself? I'm sure they did it for couples. A lot do you want to like, do do farm acres of land yourself? Or That's people, never been the case. That's never, never been, been, been the case, ever. right. People always had other people do a form, right? For sure. You need okay, to, yeah. so what about the era when people weren't getting paid to do it? When people were being forced to do it? Uh, you shoot their dead and you make them work. What are you talking about? So those people would be slaves, right? Yes, it's about today's terms. So, they'd be slavish, yeah. so again, if you already had African slaves in Europe, why wouldn't you just bring the slaves? That's the real deal, because them people was really slaves and really got uh, moved around. So we talking about Scotland. What are we talking but, about Spain? But, but, that's a real. But, that's a real story, what bro. What I'm saying is, unfortunately, what what I'm more saying is, what's up with more shit? Well, what I'm saying is, what's up with the rest of the story? About when those same people and, came to America. And them people that came over here on boats, too. And that's my point. When they came over here on boats, right? That, 
Well, you said that's not Africa, but go ahead. I'm 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 under, I'm agreeing with you that they came from Europe. What I'm saying that's, is, where did that's the Europe, a straight shot, boom. What I'm yeah. asking you is, where did the European get his slaves from? The Arabs. He got his slaves from the, so the Europeans en enslaved Arabs and brought them to America. Nah, they they nah, they was making deals with Arabs and getting oh, slaves so for saying, the cheap. You saying the Ameri- they was buying them from the Arabs? Yeah, for oh, the cheap. Though. Okay, now who were the people? And plus, who, they conquered uh, a lot of Moorish nations, and those stories are clear as cut. Agreed. Fact, real easy. Agreed. So if they if they conquer these nations. Right, and they over there they worship the Black Madonna. That's not so Jesus. What I'm saying, the Black yeah, Madonna is really did. existed. That's at the one, queen. At one time they did. We agree. Black Madonna is the queen. At one time, and that's all. And that's, that's all real. The Black Madonna is Jesus' mother, Mary. Oh my God, this religious ass nigga. I'm telling God you what damn. they believe. <laughs> the Black Madonna. Yeah, cause Jesus. you Jesus, you fucking asshole. So what I'm saying damn. to you is this. So what I'm saying to you is this. They're slaves. Where did they get them from? They conquered Spain. Uh, they conquered England. They conquered Scotland. They All conquered right. Wales. So after they conquered that... Those country, people were literally enslaved, bro. So after they, they weren't even enslaved. They, they just was residents. So after a lot conquered, of them. So after they conquered those places, and the, and the Europeans flipped the, the script and took over their land and started to advance into African territory... Where they did don't they, set us a kill to them, yeah. Where did they then get their slaves from? I honestly don't know. So they I in Africa, don't. mind you, taking over shit. Nah, I ain't got nothing to do with over there. I don't, I don't okay. know nothing I'm, about I'm, that. I'm talking, because I'm talking about Europeans. Well, but, well, Even we, at school, I didn't think that was the case. I yeah, think because school school told stupid. you to lie that all black people come from she that. showed me the ocean patterns and she told me the africans came to america i said miss green you're a fucking fool Paco, first of all they would have been in west indy uh the west indy uh the west indy. jamaican and all that they was they was so yeah i do agree some came went down there a lot went down and there. guess what Not- once these people started to come in and these places was occupied by european territories people moved on and tried to find and land don't make it, that's, people that's, tried that's to move on and much. find land that didn't the beautiful part about that that still don't make them much right? how don't it that, that still don't make how them much, it? Right? so when because do we ain't, we wasn't mixing with them people right who that's, that's it. so the people who came the over, so the was. people who came over here on the ship who wasn't mixing with them uh, the Americans, because they was never near, nowhere near America, nowhere near. You just said they brought them over here. Well, who over here? They the brought, yeah, they brought their slaves over here. I don't think by the numbers you're talking, yeah, but, but but I didn't say a number. Yeah, in the West in the Islands, I'm sure they brought a. a but number, why? But I'm asking lot. you this: if people not enough to, to make a population, population, but yeah. But what I'm asking you is. Is if people run more than just the West Indy Islands, if Europeans have territory on land in the mainland, why wouldn't they bring their slaves to the mainland too? What would they start guns of fucking people? What? If you was coming over here to take over a fucking land, where you gonna bring some niggas that can turn on you, or you gonna bring some fucking guns? Let me ask you a question. And your Parker. folks, and your folks, Parker, and your folks. All right, let me ask you this: Can a gun pick cotton? No, but the people that you that you shoot, you shoot. I bet you the okay. rest of them uh, go ahead and so, pick that so, cotton. So exactly, and now you see why people allow themselves to be enslaved. Right, people wasn't going coming over here by the thousands in boats. Paco, that's they, Paco, that, that let me ask you a question. Paco. Let me ask you just a simple question: If the French, the English, the Portuguese, the British, and the Dutch is all bringing slaves, and I'm just I'm I'm ask you one year. In one year, would it be able for, be a, a possible? For those, be a lot of white people. I'm asking here, you a question. Friends. Would it be possible for those five nations? It's possible for a lot of white I'm, people to be over here. Can I finish my yes. question? Can you not speak for me? Does that you get you not a question? Bro. I'm asking a question. Even, even I'm not telling you anything. I'm asking a question. Point. I didn't tell you anything. I asked the question, and you refused to answer. You want to cut me off and speak over me. I, I definitely am, because you're, you're not saying. So I'm asking you a question. If the German, I mean the French, the English, the British, the Portuguese, and the Dutch all bring slaves. Bring their people over. Go ahead. What I'm asking you is this. Would it be possible for them to 
could bring 30,000 slaves a year, 12 months, 12 whole months. Could those five nations combine, like Captain Planet, not together as a unit, not working amongst each other, but indiv independently, can all, would it be possible, let's split 30,000. I don't think so. Let's split 30,000 so. five ways. Let's split 30,000 five ways. Opposite color people, I don't, I don't see Paco, that. No. three times six is 30, right? I mean, five times six is 30, right? I'm telling you for a fact, opposite color people, you bring that many over, I don't see it at all. By the numbers and nothing, 33,000, nothing, I don't see that. No. What I'm saying to you is this. I'm asking a question. I'm, 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 we're going to break it down to the simplest form. We're not even going to use no, no big numbers. 30,000 is the number we have. We got five different nations. I'm asking you, let's break that down into five. They came over here in peace, Paco, as supposedly. I'm, Paco, though, so. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying how they came. How are you going to come over in peace Paco, with can slaves? I finish, can I finish my sentiment? Of a different color. Because, how, that don't Paco, make sense. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me finish my sentiment. If five people come, five different nations, so we're not talking about 1492 when Columbus got here. It has to be after that because we're talking about the British being here, the French being here, the English being here, and the Portuguese being here with the Spanish. We're talking about all five of these different European countries having territory throughout the Americas and the Caribbean islands. My question to you is, if we split 30,000 five ways, you're telling me that five nations can't bring 6,000 slaves apiece in a year? That's less than a thousand a nah. month. So that means, so, so, D, that's less than a thousand a month, D. Six thousand in twelve months. He said that they can't bring six thousand in twelve months. Now right? the opposite hold right? on, hold on, hold on, D. They can't bring six thousand in twelve months in fourteen ninety two, right? But in the year twelve hundred and eighty seven, the Mongolians could try to raid Japan with five hundred boats and thirty thousand on those five hundred boats. So, I mean, so, so, listen, D, so listen, D, so listen, D, I want, I want to, I want, and you saying that none of the black people who taught Moors were? Because we know Moors that. came we, over? No, 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 that's not What's my that? point. Some that's not me? my point. My, it's not, listen to what I'm saying. Answer what I'm saying. So you're saying that the black people who we know the Phoenicians were sailors couldn't teach, who taught the Moors, didn't teach them how to build appropriate boats, is what you're saying. We know who they got their education from. Black people who knew how to sail who had a history of selling hundreds of years before they ever encountered the Europeans. I mean, in school they said they were the slaves, but... No, 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 no. Over time, they said they, then they said they brought us over. Just, what, I, what I'm, saying, on, to what on, I'm saying to you is this. What I'm saying to you is this. I'm not talking about what they say in school. I'm talking about a conversation me and you having right now. I'm, this real life, they were slaves, So bro. my point is you. I'm asking you to make sense of something for me. In the year 11, 1287 A.D., you have all oh, the Italians you talking about. They I'm not talking about slaves, Italians, bro. I'm talking about Asians right now. Right at this very second, I'm talking about the Mongolian army who had occupied China. Oh, right, you just brought that up. Okay. All right, right. That that was occupying China in in 1200 and 1100 and some AD. By 1200, 1300 AD, these motherfucking Mongolians had 30,000 troops on on 500 different ships trying to get into China. They took over the island that, I mean Japan, excuse me. They took over the islands that surround Japan. They were able to overthrow those islands. But once they got to the mainland, the Japanese, they repelled them. Then they got caught into a motherfucking storm, hurricane season and shit like that. And they lost a lot of boats and lost a lot of people. But the, rest, of them, and the rest of them made their way back to, to where the, uh, the horde was stationed. My point is this. The point I'm trying to make to you is if in 1200 AD you can have 500 ships that is capable of holding 30,000 soldiers, how come in 1500 AD, 300 years later, with the teachings of black people that they got from the Moors who they would one day overthrow? Remember, the Moors went there and said, whole culture. And, and, and I agree. So I'm asking you. If I start to take the Moors out of positions of power and we start taking posi and they start taking positions of power as, as Europeans and they start to build up their civilization with the Moors information that they had and they start to improve on that or whatever or add to it, even if it ain't an improvement, they add to it. So then they, they flip their not their They, they flip beat us switch. in our time of peace. We so what, I'm saying, what I'm saying is what I'm saying is, this, peace, I'm saying is this when they flip the switch and they start to make their way into North Africa. And they start to take slaves. 
When we look at the Berlin Conference, we know that Africa was spread up in different parts for different European nations. Therefore, that would say that different Europeans held different territory in Africa. So if the French is bringing their slaves from their French territories, if the English is bringing their slaves from their English territories, Portuguese, Dutch, Spanish, so on and so forth. Well, you think these niggas is the damn devil, boy. They are the damn devil. You, now you yeah, get it. Is, now you get it. Damn, now you fucking get it. They are. No, I don't get it. Damn, they are nigga, the nigga, fucking nigga, devil. Powerful, nigga, so, nigga. So, you, so now you're saying, yeah. a, so now you're saying the Berlin Conference didn't exist. Now you're saying that European nations. No, I know how evil it is, bro. But you just saying they just taking these. They did, Paco. Sick, what did man. Nas tell you? Egypt was the place that Alexander the Great went. He was a shock to see mountains with black faces. So you think we shot the noses off? It was That's Europeans, just That's like just like work. just like Hannibal of Carthage. Before he was in Egypt, he was fighting Hannibal in Carthage. Alexander the Great was. This is why. Is different, bro. He this is, is why different, they say. Bro. This is why they say Alexander the Great. They call him the Great because he was the first person, first European to capture African land. He was the first yeah. one. He was the first one to go into your Africa from I, Europe. I, 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 no, that's I, I, why they I, call I, him I, the I, Great. Now, why do they call the boy Ptolemy where he is? Because Ptolemy was the first person to rule an Egyptian city that was not a Nubian. And his kids ruled too, because you got Ptolemy the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the seventh. And then the Arabs came and lived in the Right, up. right. Well, in a wait, wait, wait. The Ptolemy, the is, is Ptolemy an Arab or is he a European? Hmm? Ptolemy is an Arab, right? Cyprio Africanus. Actually, Cipri actually, you might be right. Cyprio Africanus right. is a European, right? Yeah. All right, yeah. Cyprio is a European. Ptolemy is an Arab, correct? Yeah, I think you and Europe, he the right? first person to ever take a European, I mean, Egyptian city. Yeah. And that's I what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm not saying yeah. he wasn't, but I'm just saying he come, his people come from the Middle East. You right. And that's my point. So to say that it was a mixed race in Egypt, not till motherfuckers start taking shit. To say that white people always been in South Africa, that would be a lie. White people are in South Africa because a certain nation in Europe held that mm -hmm. land as their own. That's not the only place that happened. So my point to you is this, 300 years after the motherfucking Mongolians had 30,000 people on fucking 500 ships, you sitting in my face <laughs> telling me that Europeans, sure, that Europeans who was definitely in Africa at this time, different groups of Europeans couldn't bring 6,000 people over here a year in 12 months. If you take, if you take three trips of 2,000 people, Pop, if you take two trips, I'm not talking about one ship. I'm talking about what they call a flotilla. If you take 30 ships, 40 ships, 100 ships, they put, the Mongolians put 30,000 on 500. 500 I mean, they got, they got history of taking over the American Island as well. I'm, not saying, I'm not saying they don't. I agree with you. We agree that white folks came over here and start taking over stuff too. But yeah. the place they got, they, they went in Asia too but they just wasn't as successful as they was here. They, they, they went into Asia. They went in there nice, nice. That exactly. They wanted to play nice because the Asians had them gunpowder bombs. That's who they start buying this shit from. You keep thinking Asians play, man. I don't you think they play. I don't think, I just said that the Europeans could not conquer Africa and Asia. Uh, I just said no way. There's no way. They tried, though. <laughs> they tried. That's why the bull who they say was the white samurai, he turned on his people. His people was trying to take over Japan. And they got there That's by the no military. More why people. Why is Yi Shun Shin a motherfucking god to them people? He was a naval commander. He fought the European on the fucking ocean, on the rivers and shit. And he won. He sent them packing multiple times. Look up the name, Y-I-S-O-O-S-H-I-N. He is the most famous naval general from Japan or China, whatever. No, it's Japan. He's the most they, famous. They dirty. And that's what I'm saying, Paco people. Even your fake boys, they dirty. But I the agree. Same rise, they I, dirty, bro. I, but see, me and you, you, you just have, you have your belief system. And I can't really get over your belief system. I don't know why I can't get over it, but why can't? black people create the samurai culture and that be enough for you why did they have that why can't we accept that yellow people mm. stole it 
they became. Well, I knew it kept that. That's became, what I know. They became the majority. All right. So why link the time and when Samurai wore leather armor, which is before any metal armor? I don't, I don't, I don't recognize that. You just said That's earlier in this conversation that exactly. But what I'm saying is they predate metal armor. So they was before them. So a picture where you see a yellow person in yellow in leather armor comes before you see in a black or brown or red or tan person in motherfucking metal armor. Pop. England had some uh, metal, bro. Right. Eng England did, and what you call the Iron Age. And the Iron yeah. Age ain't that long ago. I'm with and you. And they traded man. with who? Everybody. First they started trading. The Yang Yang exactly, because they couldn't beat them. Nah. They couldn't beat each other. That's Europe. I mean, yeah, that's real. You're talking about Europeans. Yeah. That's true. That's why they nations is what they is. They be I right. mean, they could if they wanted. In but my they, opinion, but, but, nah. but like the Italians and the Sicilians. It's too much. The yeah. Sicilians and Italians come from the same people. But the Sicilians have a disagreement with the Italians, and this group of people go over here fucking 30 miles away. And now they start up their own civilization. Now we're going to have... Scotland and Wales. Exactly. Scott, yeah, 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 yeah. Scottish, Welsh, Irish. Correct. Mm -hmm. So this yep. is these, the Romani. These are the gypsies that Fury is talking about. The Romani yeah, people. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Exactly. The traveling gypsies. Right. So my the white ones. Yeah. Exactly. Because they kept getting mm -hmm. kicked out of this place and that place in Europe. And yep. then they got a bad name for being thieves and tricksters and all this other shit. And they followed the Moorish culture. Absolutely. I don't know. You might be right. They maybe, do. Maybe, they do. Maybe they look at crystal balls. They, that's, that's more shit, bro. I don't know. I don't know enough. I know. Only thing I'm telling you is this. At the end of the day, Pop, you might have had a Jerusalem. You might have had a Cush. You might have had a Mecca. You might have had a... All Egypt, over here. But that ain't where they originally were is all I ever said to you. The people... And how could you say that? You already <laughs> admitted to your wrongs. No, I'm not. I'm not admitting to being wrong about nothing. You ain't say little in front of nothing or nothing. You said it was everything. It doesn't everywhere. matter. It doesn't matter if we call it Little Haiti or we just call it the other Haiti or we call it Haiti too. It doesn't matter but, if we call it Little Africa. But that's how I would know it, 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 it wasn't the original. I don't even know what it is. But, but what I'm saying to you is... My, I seen a little Jerusalem over here. I seen Jerusalem, bro. Uh, and I'm and I'm with you. And what I'm saying is, only thing that tells me is that the people didn't call it Little Jerusalem. That's the only thing it tells me. Over there is Little Jerusalem. Can't That's be. What I'm That's saying. the first Jerusalem. Just, Paco, just because you're in America, that don't mean that the one that's closest to you was first. I, I, I wish that wasn't the case, but it is. That's my study. It, it can't be the case, Paco. What, what language did the I mean, people... I don't even know nobody that even says different these days. I really don't. Yeah, I mean, the knowledge is right on the internet, bro. But, but I, it is on the internet, and it tells you Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. If you're checking out today's knowledge, today's uh, cookbooks, today's uh, Google searches, yeah, you, that's what you're going to find. But what about the stuff, what about, over there. What about yes. the stuff that the Phoenicians and the Canaanites wrote down? That's not religious text. What about that stuff? I mean, that was all up in uh, South America and... So, What's so, the other side of uh, Turkey? But South America, Next is, nowhere, Turkey, not South South America Turkey. is nowhere near Turkey. No, but I'm telling you where they found the, the most of that uh, evidence for the Phoenicians and the writings is South America. But Paco, and, uh, Paco yeah. it's a place called Phoenicia. And they got the same art. They got the same uh, rock stone work. So Paco, I'm just going to go ahead and Paco, say. There's a place called Phoenicia. And like I say, you're too dumb to, 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 to realize that that's, that's just probably what it was called, probably with the territory. No, Phoenicians, it probably had, Phoenicians was, had multiple territories. Exactly. That's probably one of but, them. But Phoenicia is where their empire was. Yeah, it's an empire, for sure. Exactly. So anybody else who was following some form of Phoenician, like I just had this conversation with you about the Moors. The Moorish motherfucking culture originates in Morocco, even though it's in other places. Even Egypt with, wasn't called Egypt, so why are we playing? That's the, that's the type of shit I be talking about. But how long are you talking about it not being called Egypt? That's an easy way to hide the history about the real place and the real people. Yeah. And so that, that's yeah, what that name the real does. The people is the Nubians. 
They the same people who created Kush. Oh, well, I believe I know the Nubians is because I think we call our girls the Nubian princesses and all that. And when they come over here, even Africans, the I think they do that too. Yeah, but but they. But, hey, but, but I want to get me a Nubian princess. Saying, but think you feel me? What you saying? You think you saying somebody got something from you because you used the word, <laughs> and they got a place called the name. Which one is more significant to you? Using the word. You call These the names woman. are late. These names are, are oh, later in history, bro. I don't know. Evidence of you calling I told you that place was called Kush. Black Americans calling you want me to say? Paco, evidence of black Americans calling a woman a Nubian princess is very new as well. Where we at ain't what they called Narstown <laughs> before before they changed it. It was I'm, called Three Hills. I don't, this, this, I don't I'm, know. I'm on Three Hills, bro. You might be, I know you don't. You might be right. I know you don't. But I also this know place, that, I'm on Three Hills right I now. I also know that Building 50 was a slave, a slave plantation. For sure. Nigga, I go to the plantation so where, and then so be where, jogging. So where did those slaves come from? Three Hills. So they just enslaved the people that was there, and that's all the work they had. They ain't need no they more workers. They ain't need no more workers. That was a I mean, workers. Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, hold on. The people I mean, in any here, situation, hold on. The people your brain who should here, be at ease because that's, that's what they'll do. here, according to you, was in all the slaves they would ever need, right? They didn't have to go get slaves from anywhere else. Bro, they brought some over for the Egyptian cotton, bro. They brought some over for the 8,000 no. times. They did have some over here, bro. So, so what I'm saying, so. Not what, many. So, but, but, but how do you know the number? The number ain't what they said. That's how, how I'm able to say not many. You know what it is. They in the millions, so that's why I'm able to say it's not many. You know what it is. The reason why the reason why I did the I, I did the math the little math equation that I did earlier was to state this. You hear me, D? Would you broke my chair? Yo, your pants. Listen, I want you to I want you to hear what I'm saying. The number is make it false, bro. Yeah, let me. I want you. Can I? I'll show you some quick math. I'll take the the equation that I gave him earlier. What thirty three thousand and in, in, in a year? Hold on, hold on. He's a fucking soul, if man. He's a dumbass. If you just shut your nut ass up, I'll show it to you. Okay, thirty three thousand. Okay, so listen to this, D. If if we talk about four hundred years of slavery, right? I just want you to follow me. The, mm -hmm. the the number they throw out there, D. Right, is twelve point five million slaves to North and South America over the time that they were bringing slaves, right? Mm -hmm. So let's just do a quick math problem. 12.5 million, 400 years, would be 30,000 slaves a year. So in one year, 12 whole months, between multiple different nations, you're trying to tell me, I just named five. Yeah, you're three. telling me, you know, at the same so time, telling me, the Dutch boss plays over let here. Let me break it all the way down, D. So they all didn't use, either, but go ahead. If I just use those five nations, the Portuguese, the Dutch, the English, <laughs> the British, and the French. I'm only using those five nations. Mm -hmm. Damn, I didn't even say the Spanish. So it's six nations. Portuguese, and the, Portuguese, Dutch, French, And to be honest, the, the, the ones who... Spanish. So six... The ones who should finance the whole thing was the people we call Jews today. So, so they listen, were probably... Listen, they was doing evil shit listen, than everybody listen, else, bro. They didn't finance a fucking thing. Them people were stealing shit. That's how they financed their they fucking mission. They financed their mission by stealing from Africans and people in the Middle East. That's how they did it. And then, that's that's how, listen, now listen, D, that's how they financed, get, like, like what I told Paco the other day. I said, Mansa Musa was already rich, but he became, according to them, the richest man in the world when people were commissioning him to build ships. Commissioning his brother him. came from over here where the gold is. So so, so my point is, well, you know, 80% of the world's gold comes from Africa, but I'm not going to get into that. I'm not even going to get into that. There's far there more gold in Africa than anywhere in the world combined. But I'm not even going to get into that because that's just a corny sediment that builds up over time. Or a mineral, excuse me. My point is this. Let's get back to the math equation. The number they throw out there is 12.5 million. If you break 12.5 million down to 400 years, you're going to get 30,000 people a year. Hold on. If you break it down to 30,000 people a year, right, D? And you put six nations there, that would mean that each of those six nations – had to take 6,000 people a, a year. And that was nice and crispy. Go ahead. Excuse me, 5,000 people. Because it's six nations. Because it's six nations. When it was five nations, I had to give each nation 6,000 people. So, so what if God came down? Because that's all you're saying. What if? What if? What if? I'm not. I'm, I'm explaining to you how what they did was mathematically possible. <laughs> It's mathematically impossible, bro. My teachers would know I shut them down. I got to go. Nigga, after I.
Exactly. Bob, you're man. In the fucking corner and you can't get out. No, there's no corner, bro. No, there's no corner, you're nigga. Not smart there's no to corner. Have to even do this with me. You the same you're just nigga. You're out numbers, you, dog. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I'm doing a mathematical equation. The number I start with is twelve point five. Twelve point five million divided by four hundred years equals thirty thousand people a year. Thirty thousand times four hundred is twelve point five million. I'm not throwing numbers out. Now, if you take six different nations and you divide 30 by 6, you get 5,000 apiece. Where's my math wrong, dude? Stop playing with me, you fucking kid. Stop fucking playing with me, dumbass nigga. My mama made sure her son's math is right. Do the numbers. 12,400 years, 30,000 a year, 30,000 divided by 6, 5,000 apiece. Math teacher and you still want now, D, now, D, now, D. It's only 12 months in a year. You telling me I can't get 5,000 people to America in 12 months? On a plane? No, on, on, on 40 different boats. <laughs> no, I'm good. We just said that 300 years before that, the Mongolians had 30,000 on 500 boats. Nah, Becky was on that joint in time. But, but, remember, nah, but remember, Becky learned from niggas who was smarter than the Mongolians. Yes, she did. So, but, 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 but Becky couldn't build it. But, but the niggas taught her who was smarter than the Mongolians. And the Mongolians had 30,000 on 500 ships 300 years before that. Yeah, they bringing their people over. Wherever no, they was invading Japan. Japan. They was invading Japan. They bring your people over. No, the know. Mongolians were invading Japan. How does that even sound cool? I don't get it, man. Paco, because Japan is an it, island bro. and you can't get to it walking there. No, you, the, you just Paco, don't Paco, because no Japan is an island and you can't get there walking there. You I know cannot. everybody bring their people. I don't know nothing about nothing so, else, so, bro. So, so basically, only white people with slaves is what you're saying. No, I ain't even saying they did that as much as you saying. Parker. I don't even believe that. So how did all these millions of white people get here? By navigating moors that brought them over here. And and, why wouldn't the same moors who was in bed with the white people navigate the slave ship? And a couple of their servants. So how come the same moors couldn't navigate the slave ship? They did. It was white people on the salvage. They well, did. But, but but what I'm saying is, so why is there black slaves in Europe if they black people were in the government and so the white people took it over? Paco, yeah. So, yeah. When white okay, so white people took it over. When white people took it over, Paco, they had black slaves, correct? Absolutely. Okay, so if they had black slaves in Europe, and they knew where to find more black slaves, why wouldn't they bring more black slaves to America? Because they needed work done for free. Right now, we're doing it on our own for a paycheck. Um, yeah, because that's not slavery. You're getting paid for your motherfucking work. Being employed is slavery, bro. No, it's not slavery. Slaves didn't get paid money. Can you look up the definition so I can? I don't have to argue with you? No, slaves didn't get paid. Why do you keep saying that? Because they didn't. Oh, man, this guy, I don't know. Oh, I, slaves didn't get paid. They worked for free. They worked for their lives. They worked for eat. Some people, some people got whipped and beaten too. No, too I'm but. Not, I'm, what I'm saying, okay, every slave master might not have beat his slaves. That's not the point I'm making. The point I'm making is chattel slavery, American slavery, is definitely yeah. slavery with no pay. I'm not undermining that. I'm just saying they didn't come on boats. Egyptian slaves didn't get paid either. I mean, they got a crib, they got some, some grub. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but so now you're saying that slavery is. Same humane. as you do. Same so now, as we do. So now you're saying. With a paycheck. So you, now you're saying slavery is humane? I never said that in my life. So, so why did them having a place to sleep or food in their belly mean that yeah. it wasn't what it was? Because somewhere else probably was worse. People yeah, were going yeah, to war with each other, cutting off people's America, you know? Right now, you just said yourself earlier, you would love to get out, right? Only because they ain't treating the niggas right. Yeah, but we built this bitch and and and, and they, they fucking it up. Tried, That's why. But the one, but the niggas they brought here, they ain't never treat right. I don't know. I see some some doctors out here and some Indian. Yeah, but mind. that's not the status quo. That's the anomaly. That's the one one of every however many million of us. That is not our norm. In Africa, we are the doctors. In Africa, we are the scientists because we're the majority of the population. In America, we're not those things because we're not the majority of the population. That's not the only reason, of course. There's also racism and prejudice. But I'm not saying that 
all of those things don't combine to make the situation what it is. Cops, <clears throat> firemen, ambulance attendants, it's all the same. City workers. Yes, there are black city workers, but there are not more black city workers than white city workers. That's my point. Because they ain't part of the top. Exactly. How did you get to the bottom? When somebody stole you from your fucking home and underhanded mob like behavior. Before the mob existed, though, these motherfuckers was gangsters. And what I'm explaining to you is they didn't pick on the strong. They picked on the weak. They picked on the small numbers. What happened when yeah. they tried when they tried Shaka Zulu? He put his foot in their ass, right? For sure. Exactly. So what happened to some black people in Africa could not happen to all of them. Some were too strong for that. It didn't even happen that way. They was kicking their ass many times, sure. Many yes, many nations was kicking Europeans' ass. Facts, but all of them didn't. Today, back in back in to the beginning, yeah. But all of them, but all of them didn't. Every black nation did not win every war against Europeans, Pop. Nah. All right, the ones, like... the ones who lost became slaves. That's the point. Yeah, that's the history, yeah. Okay, so when they brought those slaves... So why why are they bringing them? Why they got to bring them somewhere now? Because they need, them to, they... Because they need them to work the new land. Why can't they feed them? They hold you there and just take them down the because they need them. Because they need them to fucking work the new land. Nah, they gotta go overseas. Tell me, bro. They gotta Cause, go overseas. Because because they need them to work the new land. They found something that they didn't know existed. Now, because the people who are here can't stop them, because they don't have the invention of the gun that they have. They so you don't bring over the best of the best. You bring over some nigga that's gonna pick some corn. You bring over who you can capture. You bring oh over who you, you, could, you, Paco, you can't capture everybody. Everybody would love to have Superman as their slave. But if you can't physically cap capture Superman, you can't make him work for you. How many times has the government tried to get Batman on their side? They can't stop Batman. He works for him. No, he don't. Batman owns his own company. He don't work right. for them. He can holler at Gordon every time yeah, he Yeah, but Gordon is a cop. Gordon is not the government. That nigga the slave. Oh, man. You can only enslave who you can capture. If the Zulus refuse to be captured, if the Tasmanians refuse to be captured, this is why the Tasmanians don't exist. Because they would not be captured. They fought to the death, all of them. Women, uh, many, many of my nations don't exist, right? But, many of our nations don't exist right now. Yeah. But that's my point. The Australian Aboriginals did not. They were enslaved. Tell you something, Pac wouldn't exist, nigga. The Real smooth. Was enslaved though, Pop. Huh? But the Australian Aboriginals were enslaved. Same continent. I don't even want to talk about it. Same continent. Same exact continent. But one group fought to the death because that was their culture. They were warriors. They, were not being they weren't even warriors. This is man, challenge, man. The fucking Tasmanians was warriors. They was a warrior culture. Yeah, they could fight. No, but they shit was predicated. Their culture was predicated off of war. Like the, remember I told you about the Amazon women in Africa? The yeah. Dahomey the, the women? They was kind of cool with each other, though, but most of them was kind of cool. I'm talking about with Europeans, though. Oh, man, they just snuck up on them, man. But they fought them. They still gave them a rumble. They did. The Tasmanians still gave them the fight of their life. Oh, yeah, they was. You talking about them, yeah. Exactly. That's why the British killed them all instead of enslaving them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's my point in Africa. Use that same methodology in Africa, Paco. The Zulus would not be enslaved. They'd rather die first. Nah, that's too many. How are you going to do that? people in Ghana was enslaved. We know this. I don't understand why slavery is so hard for you. Why you can't believe one minute it exists, let you tell it the next minute it don't. I believe in reality, bro. And numbers. And and I just gave you the numbers. I just gave you the numbers. I gave you I gave you all numbers. I gave you the number that they claim they brought here. So they shit whipping up north? You saying from Africa and then it whipped up north? No, 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 no. It, it, it went though. You talking about like whip. It went up north? What I'm talking about is this. Nah, I'm asking you, did this shit whip up north? I don't know what that means. It did when they left Africa, the east coast of Africa, right? Mm -hmm. West coast, I'm sorry. 
Yeah. Well, that's the West Coast of Africa. Right. And on the ocean, I want to know how which, which, beyond, beyond, like, there were no motorboats or nothing back then. No. You know what I'm saying? No. Yeah. So, when you, what I'm saying, you got to whip. I'm talking about you got to whip the shit, my nigga. You got to make the hard right. Boom. But when I'm explaining it to you again, <laughs> when I'm explaining to you again, a thousand years before that, Paco, Paco, when I'm